Good morning, happy Thursday. I have an eye appointment this morning. I just sucked in a piece of hair. <laughs> anyway, I have an eye appointment this morning and then I'm gonna come home and continue working in the yard. Wait a minute. Anyway, I have good news. Rob talked to the landscaping people. They should be here hopefully Monday. I, I love our yard. I truly do. It just needs a little bit of help. And to see a small part of my dream come true is going to be, not my dream come true, that sounds so dramatic. It's just a small part of what we really want our yard to be turned into. I love walking out our back door and looking at that stone wall. It just screams cottagey and then English garden when we put in the little hedges and things like that. It's gonna be, it's just gonna be so, it's gonna make me happy. And then after that, we'll, the fire pit comes next and after that we will work on Poison Ivy Row. <laughs> I realized I never showed you what we got in Florida at that antique place. Five of these little ginger beer bottles. I love these things. I have a couple more up on the shelf, just these old, they're just old like beer bottles or something. I think they're so cute. I was getting ready to leave and I've never shared these sandals with you. If you are looking for a great pair of inexpensive leather flat sandals, I would highly recommend these. I found these last year and just pulled them out of my closet to wear with my outfit today to my appointment. I love these. Leather, so they give and they don't hurt my feet at all. I absolutely love them. They are so, so comfortable. They're lightweight and they give. They do not have an arch support, so I wouldn't wear them for long periods of time. But like to appointments, to church, to parties, these are perfect. Look how cute they look with little shorts. So if you're looking for a sandal, these might be it. Just finished with the eye doctor not too long ago and my eyes are dilated, so it's hard for me to work outside. So I've been working a little bit and I'm going to try a new recipe. Hopefully, I can get it in the oven before I eat the <laughs> entire thing. This recipe just uses a brownie mix. This one already has the chocolate chips in it, so I'm not gonna add any more. Maybe, not sure. I think you add basically the same ingredients, but less water, less liquid overall, and then you make cookies with it. Let's try it. Here it is, and I'll write everything down. One box of brownie mix, two eggs, one tablespoon of water, a half a cup of oil, and a fourth of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. I noticed that my brownie mix was a little runny, so I added more of this and that's what makes it thicker. And then you bake them for 10 minutes at 350. This is so, I could literally just eat this, but I know I shouldn't because there are raw eggs in it, but it is delicious. So this is what they look like. And then I will bake them for 10 minutes again at 350. I am gonna try to refrigerate the other ones. I don't think they need it, but let's see a difference between unrefrigerated and refrigerated. So I'm gonna hurry up and get these in the oven before I eat them. I am going to be working on a highlight with all of the travel information that I shared not too long ago. I also wanted to answer two more questions that I haven't yet. One was how to find really good hotels, and the other one is how to save money towards a big trip. For the hotel question, 
My advice would be to Google where you're going and checking out the area. If you have a car, I would suggest getting a hotel that has free parking. And I always try to find hotels that have the free breakfast options for my clients I did in the past. And there are the cookies. I don't think they need to be refrigerated prior to because they kept their shape. I mean, they're pretty thick. So taste test is next. Okay, I would give those cookies a big thumbs up. They're delicious. They're not brownies and they're not cake. They're kind of in between. I think it is the cocoa powder that we added that makes it a little more cake-like, but they're delicious. And you can add all three types of chocolates. You can add nuts if you want. I was going to add some peanut butter chips, but I didn't have any. So what an easy thing to throw together this summer if you're going to a party or if your kids are at home screaming they want some cookies. This recipe would be so easy to make. If you're looking for a website that gives you hotel reviews, check out tripadvisor.com. That's what I've used in the past as well as what I use now. When we search for hotels, we always search for location, safety, and cleanliness. I can personally look past a review or two on service not being up to par, meaning maybe the front desk staff wasn't Johnny on the spot, or maybe they didn't bring the extra towels fast enough. I can look past that because A, I don't know the reviewer. The, maybe the reviewer is very, very critical, or maybe the person behind the front desk was having a very bad day. We also look for hotels that are at least the minimum three or four star. So check out TripAdvisor. And finally, here are some options for you on how to save money for these big trips. If you don't have the option at work to have a small percentage taken out of your paycheck every time you get paid and put into a different account that goes towards vacations, there are apps that can be used to save money. And the one I like the most is called Digit. Digit can be used for many things, but I primarily use it for savings. I have it hooked up to our checking account. Rob doesn't know anything. <laughs> Rob doesn't know anything about this. Why am I giving it away? I'm trying to help you. Okay, so I promise I'll try not to laugh through this. So Digit is an app where you, you set your bank account to that app and you set goals. So let's say you wanna save $2,000 by July 23rd of 2023. You can enter that into the app and Digit calculates how much money it will take per day to meet that goal. So if you use your card in a particular day, it's going to take out that amount of money and card meaning if you have it hooked up to your checking account. If you don't use your card, it's not going to take it out. That's just how Digit works. I really like it because I love the fact that you can put a date in and it will go ahead and automatically <laughs> So this is just a great, easy way to save money. There is a $5 cost to it every month. At first, I was like, oh, I don't want to pay $5. On the flip side, I don't mind paying $5 because I don't have to think about it. I don't have to think, okay, I need to save X amount. Of, it, it's all calculated for me. It's done and it goes into a savings account where you can just draw it out from Digit. And you can have multiple goals. <laughs> In all seriousness, this is how I am saving extra money up for Denmark. Again, Rob doesn't know, but you know what? He will know when I say, hey, I have extra money for Denmark because it was all saved up through the Digit app. So here is a link in case you wanted to <laughs> check it out. My eyes are finally better, so I'm gonna take Bug out for a walk. I just hope you don't think I'm terrible. It sounds like I embezzle money out of our checking account, and that's not how it is. Digit app, again, will only use a little bit of money depending on how, how you have it set. 
So I actually use that money a lot of times for Rob. He just doesn't know. Yeah, it sounds terrible again. That walk didn't last very long. It was a little too hot yet for bug and my eyes are just a little bit too sensitive yet. But I am going to go work in the shade and move the hostas out of that pot and put the ferns in there. So thank you for suggesting the ferns because I think that is going to be a great addition out there. So let's get to it. I also just tried on the Sheen haul and there are several pieces that I wanna share with you. I always have to, you know, you never know with Sheen, you just don't but these are good, so stay tuned. I'll be sharing those later on this evening. Okay, I wanted to show you the edger that I use because I get a lot of questions about it. It is just a regular edger that you, I have to jump on it because our dirt is so hard if it hasn't rained for a while. Also, I like it because the chunks of dirt that I take out, I like to break them all up and then push them up into the flower beds. Let me just show you. So here is my edger. It's just a round thing on the bottom and I just go along and kind of jump on it. Then I pull the clumps of dirt out and like I said, I break them up with my hands and throw everything, all the extra dirt up into the flower beds and it leaves such a great edge. I'm doing this right here because I'm actually going to put the hostas right here. I think there's going to be enough shade to move them there and I didn't want to move them and then have to edge them. So I'm getting this spot ready for them and then I'm trying to figure out what I can do with an old bird bath. Do you guys have any ideas? So I dug up that, I can't remember what it's called, Catawba or something like that. I dug that out and then I moved these, but now <laughs> I really want to find another one of these, put it over there and then split this back up and put it in the front to kind of fill it out. And I love the ideas I'm getting on what to do with this. I love it. So keep them coming. I wanted to show you what I got done. So let me flip the camera. So earlier I showed you that I planted the hostas, but I got all of this edging done and I removed all of the vines. That was a job, but it's all done and it looks so much better. My goal is to thin all of this out get rid of the vines on the trees because I see poison ivy and poison sumac, get all of this cleaned out and edged, and then get it ready for plants from where the, in front of the garage. So I can put all of the plants where I don't know where I wanna put them. I'll just put them right here. I also planted the ferns here. I like it. I do, I do, I do. I think it looks really really good and I love that these colors the new the new fern fronds or whatever they're called I love the color of them so yes I really like it